We are now in Myanmar. Officially across the border. Oh, I think it's very strange that you can just literally be in one country and then walk a few meters and now you're in another. We're gonna try and find a bus to Pa'an. 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 Okay. Well, what a crazy little line. Where have we ended up? This little village is so mad. This is incredible. This little path you have to take to the cave. Um, it's absolutely mad. It looks like, uh, it does kind of look like Jurassic Park. It does look untouched yeah. by the outside world. A bit stunning. A little bit stunning. A bit taken aback. It's nice actually to be able to stop and stop and stare as one republic wants it and that i think is the way to the cave i made it let me no come walk ah what the too much water ah can we see this is fast See how far the, the temple bit into the actual cave. That it's like a before. mix of like terrifying, mesmerizing, and just like awe inspiring. It's equipped with an iPhone torch and a head torch that's running out of battery. So. <sighs> see how far we can get. It feels like it's a theme park right yeah, now, but it's not. Like, this is all real. It feels actually terrifying. Be careful because you drop into water and stuff. You've got the camera, my phone, got the GoPro, got my phone. Got the last bit of light over there. Uh, this is literally like out of a horror movie. I don't think we should go any further. <laughs> okay, so we are in Sadan Cave. Sadan Cave in it's pitch black and there's darkness. so many bats around. Um, I'm literally scared of my own shadow if there was a shadow. It's time into to make darkness. our way back into the light. Big old city, it looks awesome, it looks thriving. I think what is cool is that because it hasn't been, because Burma hasn't been like, well, it's been changing a lot in the last few years, so I think the city is the place that you can see like the change the most. The huge changes in yeah, like, democracy and modernization and stuff. And what happened mostly, so this is the capital? No, it was the capital. It was the capital. Still the biggest city though. And, and yeah, check it out. Woo! Sounding drug, drug elimination, elimination museum because, like, to get the real feel for the country, you've got to go to the weird stuff. From Finally, the drug made elimination it. museum. Made it three um, days home. It's a very strange place. Uh, we're here exploring, and a load of school kids just on the din behind us.
Until our cab comes to take us to the bus station. And the um, whole of Yangon is underwater. Well, parts of it. Good with kids. We've been asked awesome to this wonderful yeah. little home and uh, <laughs> lovely family over here. Lovely family, but uh, unfortunately, we, uh, we aren't very good with <laughs> children. Nice little cycle through the countryside, now again in another village, uh, about to cross the famous in the lake on Ronald. And they use with a newspaper or the old book to be the fitter. They are my pineapple. Oh yeah. In Myanmar, when you say cheers, it means chakwa. 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 Oh, long, <laughs> long day. So we didn't really sleep properly on the coach, and we arrived at about half seven. Uh, so we thought, what's the point going to sleep? And then went on a little adventure, got the bikes so they give you courtesy of staying there, which is really nice. Yeah, cycled around the town, then we cycled all the way around the lake, and all the way around because it's really big. Uh, Crossed the lake, went to a village, hung out with some villagers. Now just another 10k up to the Winery. Red mountain, winery. We're wheeling our bikes by the way because it's, it's very hot and we have it's quite steep. Yeah, and we've ridden a lot today. I've done quite a lot of exercise recently. So anyone thinking we're unfit, it's not, it's that we're too fit. Oh how embarrassing, these two young boys, these whippersnappers, are able to just Dude, we're getting old. Good job. We're getting old. Red, red wine Because of you Heard it through the grapevine Let the night of my I'm a dog That's wine, that's wine, that's wine. Woo! Post wine riding. Post wine riding through the vineyard in my mind. I'll show up at this one. I said you don't do anything with your heart. What the fuck? Yo! Yo hello. <laughs> we're now in a different place from where we were last time. Yeah, we're now in Bagan, beautiful Bagan. It is, it is 
extremely hot around here, um, but yeah, there's a lot to see. We've got 48 hours now. Again, we're going to see all the different pagodas, and all the different temples, sunrise and sunsets temples, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Temples, um, so yeah, temples. a lot to see, a lot to do. Here we start. Here we start. Our journey in Bagan. Begin. 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 Tranquility, spirituality, calm, peacefulness, mindfulness, within, all keywords. Um, so how we feel right now? We're surrounded by a little village. We walk through, play some football with the little kids because we love sport apparently. A lot of football in uh, yeah. Myanmar so far. Yeah, it's the only way we can communicate with people here. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow there's way more to come of it. We've got sunrise, we've got sunset. Loads more to see, loads more views, loads more, loads more natural beauty to take in. Bye! Good night! What a day it's been, sunrise and then sunset and began. So we're on top of a temple, we've had to climb up, there's all debris on the floor. Earthquake last it's Wednesday which was 6.8. Yeah. 6.8 on the Richter scale. Before that, um, yeah, did a lot of damage to a lot of the temples and a lot of them so you can't closed. actually go and climb but at the we, moment. We were just driving around and someone told us to come in here and it's not too busy which is quite good because apparently get, some of them get really, really overcrowded. Packed, yeah. yeah, it's really nice, it's really like peaceful, yeah. tranquil, we've had a really good time here. This is kind of closing our Myanmar, Myanmar adventure. Yeah. The locals um, explain that the crazy like transformation is uh, that's happened even in the last like few years. Since even when we were in Thailand, loads of people were suddenly like, you should go to Myanmar, you should go to Myanmar. So in a couple of years, I reckon it's going to be very, very different. There's already a place called Weatherspoons here, which serves beer and burgers. So what the hell? And tomorrow we head to Mandalay. We're only there for 24 hours. I'm sad to say bye to Myanmar. It's been great. The people are absolutely amazing. We've so not friendly. Met one bad person. They've been completely, completely friendly. Even the people you think are trying to sell you stuff, and sometimes they are. They're so nice about it. You just say like, "Oh, I'm not interested." And, and they like, yeah. they'll still help you with whatever they were, they were what you asked them for, or whatever. They So after a week in Myanmar, we've ended it by spending a couple of days in Mandalay. So it was never actually part of the plan to head to Myanmar, but we were in Thailand and so many people had said, definitely, definitely go check it out. And so we did. So even though we've only been in Myanmar one week, we've managed to see so much different stuff across the country. We've seen caves, we've seen floating villages, we've seen wineries, we've seen pagodas, we've seen so many temples in Bagan. We have had an absolutely amazing time in Myanmar. I wish it was longer than a week. The people are so, so friendly and the food is awesome. Overall, we've had an incredible, incredible experience. Would recommend it 100%. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Also, also, we look. We were just filming on this bridge here, and this random guy from Taiwan just came over and had and actually recognised us as we were filming. Yeah, but like, don't let your ego get too big. He just saw us filming with cameras and probably like thought we were some sort of famous BBC presenters or something. Definitely a travel blagger so fan. Not so sure about that. Not so sure. We are buying hats, we are buying hats, we are buying hats, we're gonna have some hats on our head, we're gonna have some hats on our head, we're gonna have, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some hats on our head. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> you Rather definitely, definitely down. don't look like Taurus. Definitely not. Mingleba! 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 See? See? Everyone's my mate. They probably think we run a stall here or something. Yeah.